everyone welcome back to rts scrapbooking and today what are we going to do record the story because i am still plugging along full speed ahead on the load challenge and i think today is day six yes it is sunday and i'm still scrapbooking national scrapbook day which i'm going to probably just keep doing it all week and all month so what i'm going to do today is uh the prompt for today was something you've gotten a good deal on. And this is why I love load because it just makes you think of something and then you find a representation in a photo or you're telling a story. So, um, and then the, the technique prompt was to use a paper clip. Preferably a red paper clip because that was what the whole uh, story and video was today about this red paper clip, but it was just too fun. But, um, you know, I just encourage you to take a load challenge. You know, maybe next year, think about it for May uh, to celebrate your hobby. Uh, think about taking loads. There's one coming up in October, but you do need to be a Scrap Happy member and look into that membership because that's awesome too. The links to all that will be below. So, Still battling my cold, but I am not going to let it deter me because you just can't get down in a dumpster so quick, right? We're not going to do that. We're just going to take some meds, drink some fluids, and just... I have taken so many meds, I had to write it down a list because if I had to go to the hospital, I wouldn't even remember. It's just been terrible, but like I said, we go forth. Okay, so... That's what I'm going to do today. That's what my story is going to be. And um, when my daughter came home from spring break, we went on some shopping trips and we went to Tuesday morning. You know, we have to go to another state to go to a Tuesday morning. And, um, you know, you go to Tuesday morning, you always find good deals. So that is exactly what I'm going to scrapbook. And I would have, I would have told this, I would have scrapbooked these pictures. But the story in which I'm going to take these photos because of the prompt, I wouldn't have done it that way. I would not have called this Tuesday morning deals or deals of a lifetime or something. I would have just took it and probably just put it in my monthly review page. So will I get a red paper clip on? No, but I have an idea for that. So these are my two photos and this is a struggle for me. And when I have photos in, when I have two photos on a page where one's horizontal and one's vertical, I struggle with that. And because, you know, it's just, you know, you get this gap and la, 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 la. So uh, I went and I found a sketch that will help me uh, combat that a little bit. And this is from June 2011 of Page Maps. And I'll have that link below. And I'm going to use this one here, this fourth one. And I'll bring it just a tad closer. And so it's a grid form, which I love, love doing anything in a grid. So I know I'm going to have my photos like this. And so basically... If you look at the sketch, I need something here and something here, and the rest is matting. Easy. And, you know, we're doing load, so things have to be easy. So I need to keep that in mind. And I have my photos here as my inspiration, which, you know, I love to do that. And I'm going to be working with this Welcome Home Cartabella collection. It was one of my last things I got before my spending freeze of this year. So I knew when it came out that it had to be on my list before uh, the end of the year, and and I knew I, I had to have this. And if I could have bought two of these, I would have, but I didn't. So this is the one, Welcome Home, because when I think of this, I knew this collection here, because this, this is a beautiful collection. But then Cartabella is my favorite, very, very favorite manufacturer. If I only could buy one manufacturer, it would be Cartabella. No dope. No, no dope. No joke. <laughs> Oh my. Keep moving, Janet. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to work with this uh, Welcome Home Cartabella. Here's my photos. Here's my sketch. Because I always leave my photos out. And uh, so I can use that for inspiration. And I'm hoping I'm in the frame. Okay? So there's my sketch. There's my photos. And uh, when I store these collection kits, I always keep this marketing paper that comes with it. Now, if you've been a long-time scrapbooker, you know that they used to come on cardstock, and then you could actually cut these out and use them. That was always fun, but they no longer do that. And 
so I keep these with the collection. That way I know that every element that showed, especially, especially sticker sheets, because I don't always keep stickers, sticker sheets with collection. And it reminds me that I have that somewhere in my inventory. So, um, and there they are. So yeah, that's, that's nice one. So I know since I want to do a fast page, the stickers are just automatically going to be something I choose. Okay. So I was looking like, wait a minute. Okay. So I wanted to, uh, another thing is when I bring a new collection into my inventory, if it reminds me of a previous collection, especially something that may be older or not as fresh and as fun, I will go ahead and, and pull a few of those or all of it and put it with us. And so I knew when I got this collection, I was going to put some of this Jen Hatfield simple life because it just, it really coincides with the collection, you know, the whole home botanical. And then I had this Cartabella again, lovely, lovely, luscious paper. I think it's the best paper weight on the market. Truly. I mean, if you're going to spend 99 cents for a sheet of paper, you might as well buy something that's double sided and you might as well buy something that's a good weight. Cartabella is all that and a bag of chips. So we will just keep lo looking. And you see with my photos, I really don't want to go with floral. Sometimes I think I use floral too much. And here comes a tissue. Uh huh. Sometimes I think I use floral too much. So when I have an opportunity to try to, well, I would love to use florals, but you know. Um, and I have this whole, what would you call this? Maybe like a modern, clean. It's some kind of like a Pier 1 look. <laughs> so, this this would work nice. These are all nice. So, I know what I, I'm really just looking for. Four pieces of paper. Um, on my mat, my background. Well, hello. Mm-hmm. Yes. And you know why? Look. Look, it has this type of... Yes, that is, that's a choice. That's a choice. What's it? Okay. I like that, but that's not going to work. Floral, red, now move on. Okay, what do we got going on here? Got to keep my sketch going. And I always run out of room. Well, let's just move this. Come on, Janet. Okay, that way we can see. Oh, yes. Love that. And now where was I at? <laughs> Goodness. Goodness gracious. Oh, I was with this black. No. That's not going to be a choice. Even though one of the problems is a red paper clip. No. So we have this. No. Okay. I just can't seem to get a rhythm and a rhyme. Oh, well, there's some motifs. Now, what would they be? There. Where did I end at? Oh, I might have to start this over. <laughs> just mis miscombobulated. So, Okay. Now, I know I need something up here, so if I get something in 4 by 6 these 4 by 6 journal cards would be good. Oh, that green's good. Oh, okay, choice. Oh, maybe. Oh, the heart, because we love Tuesday morning. Stay a while. Oh, yes. Clipboard. Oh, definite option. What do we got here? Oh, that's pretty. Smaller. Uh, let's see, any of these would be nice. Oh, that's nice. He's got that green in there. Mm, okay. Quick choices. Quick choices. Okay, what's the back of that? No, I already have that. Do I need any kind of a border strip? Where's my sketch? I'm sorry. I'm just all over the place today. Oh, yeah. But, you know, do I want to cut that? And nothing is in a horizontal. Moving on. No floral. See, nothing's in a horizontal. It's all vertical. That won't work for my sketch. Oh, I must have bought extra of that. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Huh. Mm -mm -mm. Nice. Those are just doubly. It's like double mint gum. Doubly nice. Oh, I have a, something else in mind for that down the road. This is just a beautiful collection. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Bring out the red flag. Here we go. Look. Look at this pattern in this pillow that my daughter got. Oh. Yes, color me excited. That is an option. What's the back side? Wood grain. Okay, what do I got going on here? Got to keep in mind. You know what I really would like? Something green. A pop of green. A pop of green. Where are we going? Do I have green? I know I saw green on that collection sheet. I mean, this is just a wonderful, 
wonderful collection. Who is the designer? Does it say? It didn't say. I don't know if... No. Because uh, Steve Duncan is uh, doing a lot of designs for them now that I love. Wish I could afford every one of them, but, you know. Now, see, this would be nice, too. This would have that touch of green, wouldn't it? But I can represent that on a smaller form with that, with these stickers. So I am not going to cut up. And this is not solid enough. Keep moving. I knew there's a green paper here somewhere in this collection. Oh, I'm just loving my choices. See, this is here. Where's it at? Maybe it's on the back of one of these. Oh, there it is. It's on the back of that. I'm going to get a pop of green in somehow. Oh, but then, see, if I use that green, this is what happens, you know, if you just buy a collection, you don't get two of them. Maybe, is there two in there? Well, I'm definitely using one of that. Or both of that? Both sides. Okay, so I will figure that out. Okay, Janet, you have just taken too long for that, but... I apologize, but I have more time than I did last night. Oh my goodness, you talk about whipping out a page. Whew, I whipped out a page quick, and it just had to be because I didn't, you know, you gotta get something loaded before midnight. I am loving these options, especially these two. And I have this, I know, you know, and I might do, I might get a little crazy today and make my title. Oh, we'll see what sparks. I think I might play with these stickers and maybe do like a like a border or something. So what else did I have? Okay, I got my background. Um, I really this is gonna be a background. There's no there, are, yeah. One of those is gonna be my background. And what else? I just need two extra, so I'll use one of those journal cards, maybe a scrap of something that's covered. Title. Okay, I wanted something that was kind of like a home uh a home feel. And I just found these right, they were just laying like to my left. So that's what I picked, something quick. And then of course, anytime when I'm doing the shopping, I always pick out tags for some reason. That's just where my mind goes. And you know, buying things for the home. And I thought, oh, and again, this was all stuff that's like in my RASCOG that is like literally 12 inches from me. So uh, it was just stuff I had for my last load um, that was, uh, and so that's all there. And I picked out some more craft white stickers. Again, that stuff was just all within reach. So that's why I picked it because it has to be a quick page. And I think that is my start. I'm going to go start cutting up some things. I am putting on some videos and I am going to actually play. You know, the husband's away. It's time to play. And you know what I'm talking about. So, okay, I will be back in just a bit. Okay, we are back playing with our sketch and just having fun, and I'm hoping I'm in frame. Okay, so basically all I needed to do was a 9x9 nine nine grid, a mat, and a mat. That was how simple it came together, literally seconds. Well, not seconds, minutes. So I wanted to have a background, so I just gutted that because on the opposite side was this pattern that I wanted to get in that represented something that my daughter had purchased that day. So that's what I did. I wanted to get this pattern in and I wanted that to be my focal pattern. And so that's why it's the biggest. And so then in my actual grid, I wanted to include this because I wanted to do something with those stickers on that sticker sheet. Speaking of that sticker sheet, where is it? Let me show you something. I don't want to complain because I don't want to be one of those type of people. But do you remember back in the day when you used to get a whole 12 by 12 of sticker and a whole 12 by 12 of alphas? You know, we're not getting that anymore. And, you know, nothing has went down in price, but product sure has. And so what do we get for alphas now? Not complaining. I love Cartabella. But it's just one of those things that's been taken away. And I'm not happy with that. I'm not happy at all. But what are you going to do? Can't complain. Nobody listens. Okay, so um, I knew that, where was I going with that? Well, I know my title's going to be up here, along with a little bit of display of those stickers. And I want to leave this block here for my journaling. And honestly, that is my page. And I thought, well, I wanted to get a doily on there. I was going to stick that there. 
because on that sticker sheet was that border sticker. And does that not remind you of something like you would see in a storefront, like the awning on a storefront? And that's why I chose that. And so there's going to be my title, TM Deals, because there's no way I would have enough letters to spell out Tuesday morning. And I don't really need that because in the journaling, it'll spell out Tuesday morning. And then I found these, this pop of green that I wanted and some icons. And I think I'm going to make like a little, well, not a little, a nice size cluster of stickers to make a little scene. That's the word. I'll make a little scene here. And uh, I don't know where I'm going to put the title. Uh, the title with all this. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to put that up in the corner. Maybe that's what I'll do with the title. So um, then the other prompt was to use a paper clip. Preferably red. I think you got a bonus point. <laughs> it was a red one. Not going to happen. And so I just opened up my... Uh, one of my jars of little odds and ends and off the bat was that key paper clip that doesn't get any better than that so that's going to go somewhere and I definitely want to get a shopping tag you know I was just thinking uh, I was thinking maybe my title could rest we'll figure that out uh, you know get one of these shopping labels tags it reminds me of shopping and and plus it adds some texture which when you go to Tuesday morning, you know, there's lots of texture, a lot of design, lots of patterns. Love that store. I just wish I didn't have to go to another state to visit it. But again, trying not to complain. Okay, so that's that's exactly, this is my, this is my page. So I did wanted to um, say one more thing. Over the years, I love doing grid. Anything in a grid. Photos, you know, any design has to do with a grid. And I've learned over the years... Then when you're working with a grid, and I'll move this doily so it won't, won't get in the road, and I'll move that, is when you're cutting things down, don't cut everything to your measurements. Okay, you see I have those. Because I can guarantee you when you go to butt these up end to end, nothing will ever come out right. You can use the same piece of paper on your same trimmer with your same hand, and you will not get the same measurement. I, I don't know how that happened. So I've learned over the years to cut a few elements bigger than what I want, than what I need. And that way you can do the, uh, I call it the tuck and roll. <laughs> you can tuck your items. I think that albuterol is kicking in. Things are getting a little shaky here. You can take your elements then, whatever you have, and then mat them this way, you know, match them up this way. And it will be, you You know, you got to play with a little bit. But then I don't have anything adhered down, so things are just shifting. And it just helps you to get a nice, clean edge rather than trying to say if this is like, what, a 3 before. If I would cut that on a 3 before and try to match it up, uh, something will not meet up. So you just, you know, you can play around uh, once you start adhering things down. And if you have that little bit of a wiggle room, it helps you to create a grid, no matter if you're using photos or paper. So that's just something I've learned because I like nice straight edges. And you see with my green mat, I don't have it cut down exactly to my size because once I get these, I'll start at the top and work down and then I'll cut that little extra off. It's easier to do that than try to make sure everything mats up correctly. So I think that is it. Um, it's time for another video. And it's actually, I didn't even turn a video on. This went so quick because I already had all my choices made. So I'm going to come back with the finished page. Okay, hang on. Okay, we are back with our final page. And oh, it was just so much fun to sit and play. And the reason it was fun to sit and play is because I had everything already to my left and to my right. It was just, it came together so quick. And I got my scene on that I wanted to do. And all I did was take these uh, elements from the sticker sheet and I put them on wax paper and I put them in such a way that I figured out my, my, you know, my placement and then I just transferred them over. So it makes it very easy to work on wax paper and then transfer everything over. And then I did put that border sticker up there as like a, a store awning since we're talking about Tuesday morning and our love of Tuesday morning. And you know, those stickers, you need to add extra adhesive on every thicker except the foam. The foam thickers are fine. So I, I glued all them down, got a little extra green up there and that slate blue. And it, you know, honestly, it's just so quick. This grid was exactly from the sketch. Now in the sketch, my title was here. I moved it up there to fit my design. 
and then I, I've got that one of those tags in I said I wanted to add. And you see how I pulled out these four tags? And all I ended up using was this. But that's okay. It's better to have more than less. And I don't have to get up and get anything. Got that paper clip on, which was part of the prompt, along with something you got to deal on. And I added uh, that in my journaling. And the only thing I had to get was this green butterfly. And I wanted to bring in some more of that wood in to, to fill that scene in a little bit. And I took a little piece of scrap, did a border punch. So easy. So easy. Now with this flare, I did use my glossy accents. And I had a little tip about glossy accents. So you can see that in another video. I used my Tim Holtz stapler. And I stapled that down. And then I used my mono to adhere the rest of those tails because if you have your tails in such a way it creates movement and then also too inadvertently it brings your eye to the left because we read left to right and honestly that's how simple it is and if you um, like load process videos or just process videos in general like I do Allison Day here on YouTube and I'll have her channel listed below. She is actually doing this load challenge too. She's a fellow loadster. Of course she uh, did videos for February as well. So you need to check her out. I love watching her videos. And then also too for the sketch. I wanted to show that it doesn't hurt to cut some of your photo away if it's not going to add to it. So if you see this, this was actually part of my photo. I cut that off. I would have cut off the shopping cart and uh, one of the purchases. And so you still get the effect. You don't need a whole four, four by six photo. And then here, this was an additional part of the shelving. I think I went this way, how this way. This was the, and I cut that down. I didn't need that. And it just fit my design better. And originally when I saw this photo, I thought I was gonna put my title in this, in this dead space. And, but it didn't work that way. But I will um, have a video later talking about dead space versus negative space uh, on your photos and your pages. So I'll talk about that. And uh, that's always a fun little tip and trick to, to know. I think that is it. It came together so quickly. Well, I didn't even get to finish watching a video. I saw someone making a page kit and boy, I ran like a bee. I wanted to see what it was like and I didn't even finish the video. It just came together so quick. I uh, already got my journaling on and I already have it uploaded to the Flickr gallery. So I am day six for six for load and I'm so happy. And I love this prompt because I would have probably included one of those in a month in review, but I would not have actually done a layout about our love of Tuesday morning. So it just, oh, and to play with, with this collection, what was it called? Welcome Home. I lost my, yes, this collection, Welcome Home by Cartabella. Great collection. So, okay, I think that is it. I will get this edited and hopefully loaded to my channel here soon. So thanks for stopping by and have a great day and keep scrapbooking. Have fun. Let May be the month that you just soak in our hobby and our craft. So have a great day. Come back to RTS because you never know what we're going to learn. Have a great day. Bye.